Hi, James Watson here. I'm going to go over some simple economics for you. I don't agree with Bernie, by the way, on a lot of things, um, most things. <laughs> uh, I've got conservative values. Um, I'm more for you know Trump than anything, I guess, if I had to vote for somebody. I, I just want to make this very clear, though. I see really extreme videos going from left to right, um, and, and you people are making yourself look really stupid. Um, I don't have to be an economics major to, to know how to add and subtract here. A company like GE, for instance, this is what happens when you don't tax uh, big corporations. I'm not saying 90. That's just absurd. I'm talking like 20%, 25%, flat tax, flat rate. Okay, this is what happens when you take a company like GE. GE starts here, right? So we got, let's just say, I'm just throwing a number out there, 5,000 American jobs. Okay, let's just say it employed 5,000 people, which I'm sure employed a hell of a lot more than that. Once they leave and pack up and go to Germany, now Americans lose jobs. Now we have a significant decrease in um, jobs and the unemployment rate goes up. Not just that, but the products that they're selling here, they're taking all the money for it. Then they're not paying taxes on it at all. Well, I, I drew a simple chart here for you <laughs> to try and make this real simple. All right. You see here, if the first drawing, what you have is this is the United States and this is Germany. If they get all the money and all the jobs and there's no tax, what happens? That's right. All of everything goes over there. That leaves us nothing, them everything. Here, let's try this again now. Down here, you got another crappy drawing of USA, and you've got the money and the jobs going over there, but the tax coming back. Now, let me ask you, which chart, if you had to guess, balances the economy more? The one where all of our money goes over there, or the one where some money comes back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear, what you don't understand is, is there is no such thing as balance if they're taking everything. Let me ask you something. How do you think we got to 20 trillion? There's a lot of things that got us to 20 trillion. How do you think we're going to get back? By giving away all of our money? That's balance. Hey, uh, I'm trying to stabilize our economy. What's your idea? We're going to give them everything. Well, Wait a second. <laughs> you, that's how you balance the economy? And then this is what I get from some jack off in uh, corporate America's world. Well, wouldn't you do that if you had the opportunity to make that kind of money? No, I wouldn't. Do you know why? Because they're the ones that let you sell their stupid. GE couldn't sell here if we didn't license them. GE, we could reject our license and say, you know what? You're not going to pay taxes here. You're not going to create jobs here. You're not allowed to sell here anymore. End of story, period. It's that simple. We can do that. They can go sell their products in Namibia. Go sell somewhere else where you think you can do it for free and rip everybody off because that's what you're doing. You're not paying back into society. You're not giving back to the people that allow you to make your money. You know, if I'm the only place in town that has a population and you come here and sell and I allow you to do that, let's say I'm the one that oversees it, your money is based upon me allowing you to do that. Otherwise, I could just say, well, go somewhere else and you would have to try and find something else. We know that we have the best chance of getting them the most money. Otherwise, they know they're probably going to fail in most other places. They're not going to make a fraction as much money. So paying a flat rate of, let's just say, 25% isn't going to kill them. I mean, if you can't live off of billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars, you shouldn't have your business. Go work at 7-Eleven. I know people that can live off of that money. You know, if you're going to be that big uh, of a jack off and ruin the economy, you know, at least tell the Americans what you're doing to them. So I'm going to say this one more time. They take all of our money, took all of our jobs, and then they don't get taxed. What are we getting? Nothing. What are they getting? Everything. How does that help our economy? It doesn't. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're spending every dollar of ours over there. Where's the American dollar going? Because it's not coming back here. I'm not talking every corporate company. I mean, there's plenty of corporate companies who are based here, live here, sell here, pay their taxes here. Well, some, not near enough. 
if they started doing that, you know, one of them told me, they go, oh, well, uh, uh, what I pay in just a little bit of taxes is much more than what you pay. Yeah, that's how we get back to a stable economy. And once we get back to that stable economy, we can figure out a better way. But right now, we need everybody pulling their weight because some guy slaving over a shovel, paying 25% of a few thousand dollars, sure as hell ain't going to get us where we need to be. If you break off a little bit of a chunk of change, nothing that's really going to kill you. You can still sit out on your lot, yacht like a jack off, smoking a great big cigar, puffing on it. Well, you don't ever have to see the light of day with your silver spoon buried in your ass. I think it's not going to kill you to actually help the place that allows you to do that, jerk. Anyway, that's a little bit of lessons in economy. Don't give away all your money and expect to have a balance above zero.